everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Mortal Kombat 11 reaction video. So, this morning the long-awaited Combat Pack 1 trailer was finally dropped. Um, I think that many of us, I don't want to say most of us because I know some people have been intentionally avoiding spoilers, but many of us at this point already have a pretty solid idea of everyone that's going to be in this first Combat Pack. So the actual announcements, well, well, Exciting that they're finally here are not really necessarily going to be a surprise, but I am still very interested to see what they all look like, what they have to show us here. Um, especially Sindel. I can't wait for Sindel. Um, but yeah, people have been waiting for this, requesting this for a really long time. It's finally here, so let's check it out. Here we go. Here's our Combat Pack 1 reveal trailer. Alright, we got Shang. So Shang and Nightwolf will be up first, of course. Yep, that we've already seen little glimpses of. Sindel! Ooh, this is gonna be spawned. Oh my god, look at his face! He looks so good! Joker. Alright. Alright. Huh. Alright. Okay. And this is him. This is... I mean, that is ridiculously good looking. <laughs> Alright. I mean, a bit of a surprise in there, but yeah. I don't... Oh, dates. Oh. What? Alright, okay, okay, now we've got something to talk about. <laughs> okay, alright, okay, so first of all, um, there was nobody in there that was a complete surprise, but again, if you were somebody that was aware of the various leaks, potential spoilers, Joker is a character that was leaked as being a DLC guest character in the game, but according to the leaks that came out before, he was going to be in Combat Pack 2, not Combat Pack 1. So that is a bit of a surprise. Um, I mean, it makes sense because the Joker movie is going to be coming out this fall, as is the new Terminator movie, so both of those characters' inclusion makes perfect sense. But, but yeah, that, that, that was a bit surprising um, that he's here and that the other character who's been named, who I will not name here in case you're avoiding spoilers, um, is either not in or maybe will be in Combat Pack 2. I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what happens with that, but Joker. All right. Well, and I think he looks pretty good. Um, you know, in other games, he's had more of the like gaunt facial appearance. But they're probably trying to, uh, I don't know, both have him kind of have his own look for this, but also maybe kind of merge the, the film versions and the game versions and the cartoon versions and everything. Um, so I think he looks pretty good. I, I, I'm curious to see what they're going to do. It's going to be, I mean, it makes sense. He's a character that could definitely be very brutal and could have some interesting fatalities. Um, so we'll see. I, I hope it I hope it goes well. I hope it ends up being good. Um Sindel really didn't get to see much of her or much of anybody actually. Um, but she looks fantastic. I mean, like again, we didn't really see much beyond the promo picture that Ed Boone had already shown on his Twitter, but we did get a closer up version of, of her face and I think she's got a lot of katana going on there. You can see kind of some resemblances and uh in facial shape. Um Somewhat, anyway. Um, I'll be very excited to see her human form and some of her other outfits and designs. I'm disappointed that she's not going to be out until the end of November. I mean, I was really thinking that she was going to be the next DLC character based on the um, original announcement and everything where she was listed third. And, okay, again, it, it makes sense. I know the Terminator movie is coming out in the fall, that they would want to do, say, cross-promotion, and that they'll want to have him as a DLC character coming out there, and I'm sure that Warner Brothers probably had a bit of say 
in the order that DLC is released here, so. But now I gotta wait until the end of November for Sindel, no! Um, but yeah, she looks really good. I uh, gotta wait a lot longer to see more of her. I can't wait to see her human designs. I really can't wait. I hope this doesn't mean that the um, Female Ninja's Classic Combat Pack outfit is gonna wait until Sindel, because that's too far away now. I'm hoping that'll just be, uh, that that'll just come around sooner. I don't want to wait that long for that. No. Maybe it'll come out with Terminator. But yeah, I think they all look really good. I mean, Spawn's face looks impressive. I think a lot of people who have been waiting years for Spawn are not going to be super pleased that he's the last date-wise. Um, so, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think about what you've seen so far? I know that these are just kind of glimpses, but I think that the... Terminator Arnold, he looks pretty impressive. I'm pretty excited to see um, how he plays, and I'm I'm assuming that Arnold is going to have done the voice acting, and that I'm also excited about too. I'm very excited to see his inclusion. So yeah, so it's it's good. I, I'm not I'm not going to say I'm disappointed completely that he's next because I think it'll be very cool when he's included. But I just I wanted Sindel, and since they're two months apart each one, it just seems like it's so far, but uh, I, I'll survive. There's still a ton of great characters in the game already. So, so again, you guys, let me know what you think. What do you think about the order of release? What do you think about Joker and Terminator and first glimpses at Sindel and Spawn? Um, thoughts and... and... Who are you looking forward to the most? Who are you maybe looking forward to the least? Are you as upset as I am that you have to wait longer for certain characters than you thought you were going to have to? Um, but yeah, this increases my excitement, but at the same time there's some disappointments. But Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye!